Come on, Red. Ugh. What are you doing now, sis? Oh, you'll see. What? What are you doing here? Oh, great. My ungrateful best friend is here to criticize me again. Ungrateful? You told me those chocolates would work. And in what way was I supposed to know she was allergic to cocoa? Well, it's nice to see you again. That's something about friendships I'll probably never understand. How could you forgive me so easily? Keep sciencing and maybe you'll figure it out someday. Actually, sciencing is not a And that's why we stopped hanging out. Right. Hush, you two! Here they come! Rainy, you made it! Rainy? Seriously? That's your nickname for Rainbow. Shut up, or your new nickname will be spot on the ground. Whatevs. So why'd you gather us all here? I had, like, the best idea ever. What if we did a game show? A game show? Yeah. Purple here said one of her classmates would be coming with a friend. You're welcome. With the two of them, you and Purple and Pink, we could do a five-person game show with me as the host. That is the stupidest idea I have ever- Here he comes! Hello! Me and my number one best friend Orange are here to participate in your game show! Hang on, I thought you told Dandelion last week you were her best friend! Of course! You and Dandy and the entire rest of the world are tied for number one best friend status! Wow, that really helps my self-esteem. Thank you very much. Did someone say Dandelion? And, like, who might you be? Why, I'm Dandy's older brother, Yellow. Oh yeah, you're that weirdo who found my tree house. Aren't you in Red's grade? I'm not a weirdo. I just like exploring. And when I heard some folks at the edge of town talking about my sister, I just had to see what was going on. The edge of town? Pink? <sighs> this is why I didn't show you where we were going. Yes, I know Mom doesn't let us come back here. And for good reason, too. Weird things have been going on here. Besides, this is where- Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Oh no, it's the nerd. The nerdier nerd, the Valley Girls, and Indiana Jones, all in my backyard. This must be my fourth favorite day of the year behind Christmas, Halloween, and my birthday. Hey! Hey, B-Bros, check out who we have here. It's white. And red. Blue, what are you doing grouped up with these two? Well, Burgundy decided that he didn't want to be part of the B-Bros anymore. I bet the janitor's still scraping his guts off the school wall. So they invited me to join. I figured, anything that Red doesn't want to do has to be good. So I said yes. Look, I know you hate me, but wow, it's like Fiery and Coiny over here. Oh look, the weirdo has a weirdo hobby. Who are Fiery and Coiny? Dandy told me last week that Yellow's gotten into this thing called Battle for Dream Island, or BFDI for short. The main premise is that a bunch of objects are competing in a series of challenges. They're split into two teams, and each time one of the teams is up for elimination. The viewers then vote on the contestants on that team, and whoever has the most votes will be eliminated. This continues until one object remains. That object wins. Wow. That's so lame. So, so lame. lame. Go back to Hollywood, Indiana Jones. Wait. Weirdo might be onto something. Ah, uh, no, I wouldn't give him that much credit. What if we... Congratulations, you 11 have been selected to participate in my new competition show. Participation is mandatory, so get your butts over here. But, but I never agreed to this. What about my science homework? Did I stutter? Participation is mandatory. Here, Rainbow, I'm going to steal your idea and make you compete instead of being a host. Grr, some nerve. Let me introduce you to your 12th contestant, Gray. He's from the next town over. Had it. Anyways, let's start the intro. Wait, I'm still not satisfied with this arrangement. source control half of your show. Viewers can make mistakes. Yeah, like voting for me. Because voting for you would definitely be a mistake. Yep. Instead, each of you will get a hundred points. Cool. 
Like, personally, I think that if some of these bozos are worth a hundred points, I should be worth, like, a thousand at least. Who are you calling a bozo? Hush, I haven't finished explaining it. During challenges, you either gain or lose points. At any time, if you are at zero points or below, you will be instantly eliminated. The only person not eliminated wins. Win what? Excuse me? I mean, what's the prize? Oh, I see. Your prize is a wish for anything. Cool. Awesome. Bland. So what's the first contest? Your first challenge is to get to that tree. Seems easy enough. Oh, it gets harder. I see what you mean. Oh, and by the way, if you fall into that pit, you'll instantly lose 100 points. Other than that, the first four to make it will get 50 points. And everyone will lose points based on the number of seconds it takes them after first place to get through the course. So go. Huh? Man, that pink is really something. Really something. Really some... Hey, wait. What? Why are we cheering her on? She's a girl. I respect your gender-based superiority complex, but right now, I gotta flirt. Ciao. Huh. Looks like we're on our own for this one. I see that. Hey. Every boy for themselves. Now I gotta win this. Humph. Why aren't you buying orange? I'd like to get to know this gray guy. He doesn't seem to do anything, though. Ooh, I'd like to see this. Uh, we should go? Quiet. I am not entirely positive. This is 100% up to local safety codes. If I knew more about the practice of law, that glorified goblet would be hearing from my lawyer, being me. And what even is that pyrite award doing here? We don't even know their name. <sighs> Just shut up and finish the course. I want to be in the top four, and I need someone here to keep me sane. But why must it be me? What about... Oh, I see your point. Now come on, jump over the spike pit. The what now? Hey, Yankee Dinky Pinky. Ugh, what now? Would your mom move in over so I could win this challenge? Why would I ever want to do that? Because I'm awesome. The only thing about you that strike are your breath and the fact that you can find anyone to be your suburbians. Shut up and do it yourself, you big baby. What? What? Let the punishment fit the crime. Whoa! No! Red! Ha! Ha! Okay. In what way does this make any sense? No. Oh dear. Shut up! We gotta win this! And white wins with pink in a close second. Black is third. I may not have won the physical fight, but the moral victory is mine. Uh-huh. Here comes more. Nice. Well, at least I tried. Top half. Let's go. Less than 30 seconds behind first place. I'm the best at this. Shut up, Indiana Jones. Oh. Okay. Okay, now can I go? Not yet. Ooh, here comes the best part. What do you mean the... Wee! <laughs> Gray is ninth. Nice. And here come our bottom two. That was so cool. Wasn't that the best thing ever? Hang on. Let me think. No. Here are the final scores. Oh well. Guess I'll head home then. Hey, I never said you could leave. What? <laughs> oh my, what did you do to my brother? Don't worry, he might be fine. Might? I'd estimate about a 16% chance of survival. 16%? That's about a 1 in 6 chance. Hey, is that eye water I see on your face? One challenge in, and we've already lost one twelfth of our cast. Who's going next? Find out in the next thrilling episode of Marbles. Hey, we're not marbles. Wash our hands. Onto our elbows. These are the things, the things we know. To prevent you from speaking moistly. Speaking moistly. Speaking moistly. Speaking moistly. Two meters apart. Speaking moistly.
my brother out of the game, I must double my strength, survive for the both of us. I shall become unstoppable. Hiya! Enemies, take warning.